Yeah, it was 1968 and I was traveling to Dahomey, West Africa to make a documentary, Children of the World. We planned a film in Gonvier, which was a village of 22,000 people living in a tiny home was built on stilts in this large lake. I met Nicholas at a UNICEF school. It was the only school in Gonvier. I felt he would be a great subject for our film. He was intelligent and a very good student. Looking back, I think I made a good choice. Life was far from easy for Nicholas. Every day he struggled for clean water. I spent 10 days with Nicholas, and despite all of this, he still had hope. I could see Nicholas wanted to be something more. He wanted to learn, and UNICEF helped him do that. You know, for 45 years, I wondered what became of Nicholas. Then something incredible happened, and I had the chance to find out. It was better than anything I could have imagined. With his hard work and the help of UNICEF, his dream came true. Nicholas studied and became a teacher and supervisor of education for Gambier. He worked hard, he went to school, and things did change. Nicholas is proof that we should never give up on any child anywhere in the world. UNICEF is making a big difference in the world today.